The lunar lander has touched down successfully. We are about to witness history in the making. Very shortly, the specially appointed team of astronauts will set out on an unprecedented mission to repair the damage done to the surface of the moon last year, when the infamous crime lord, Chairface Chippendale, attempted to carve his name into it with the use of a powerful laser cannon during a birthday party gone bad. Hey! Oh, oh, we were watching oh, 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 that! Guarded in the middle of the act by the city's own superhero, The Tick, who was then chosen to be a part of this historic lunar repair mission, making him the first superhero to take part in an official space shot. The astronauts are now waiting for the go-ahead from National Space Program headquarters in Houston. You are a go, lunar team. This is one small step for The Tick, and one giant step for, uh, say, a little bug. Or maybe some guy who's been shrunk to the size of a penny. Uh, you can talk to him direct by pressing this. Go ahead, Arthur. Uh, um, how's everything going with the mission so far? Tick, remember, the whole world is watching. I'm watching you too, world! The astronaut team is made up of expert scientists and construction workers from around the world. They will be working with extremely dangerous explosives. Absolute precision is necessary to guarantee their safety. Well, that's enough TNT to blow us all off this rock. I say let the indestructible guy do the dirty work. Uh, Tick! Uh, hey, Tick! Come here! Uh, you want to have some real fun? Huh? All right. Here's the plan, superhero. You take this jetpack, fly down into those letters with the explosive charges. Jetpack? Slick! Uh-huh. So you, uh, you take your jetpack and you fly down into that great big letter C. <laughs> into the belly of the moon? Okay, settle down. Now, this is your basic high explosive charge with the detonator switch. Now, when you get to the bottom of the channel, you place the explosive pack on the sidewall, fly back up here to a safe distance, and hit that detonator button. Piece of cake, buddy. Hey, where'd everybody go? Minimum safe distance, Tick. Uh, we'll all be back in the, uh, in the lander. Uh, monitoring your progress. Yeah, that's it. Hey, break a leg, big guy. The Tick has just been briefed on the task before him. And we will return shortly with live coverage of the mission. Meanwhile, in a related story, the National Space Program has just informed us that it has lost contact with the Quixote space probe launched over three years ago. All scientists know is that at the time it disappeared, the probe was, quote, really, really far away. I am Omnipotus, devourer of worlds, the most powerful being the cosmos has ever seen. I feast upon the firmament, gorge myself on the planets. The universe is my picnic table, and what a spread. Hello? What's this? like he's ready. And now, Space Tick soars into history! Is this all? Can I hear? And so, citizens, we are gathered here today to pay tribute 
to the memory of one of the city's tallest, bluest, best superheroes. Too soon, the tick was plucked from our midst and hurled screaming into the heavens when a guy. And to commemorate this great sacrifice, the city council has commissioned this beautiful fiberglass resin statue to stand forever in his honor. The head is way too big. Arthur, you may think that nothing can fill the void left in your life by the tick's untimely departure from this world, but the city council has also commissioned for you this deluxe assortment of cheeses in a handcrafted wicker basket. You better refrigerate that after you open it. Space. I'm in space. I'm a far out space tick. The final frontier. The great black blanket. The... Man, a guy could get really bored out here. Face hurts. Well, at least he got rid of the sea. Yeah, <laughs> that was quite a blast. Anyway, Arthur, what we're saying is we're worried about you. You haven't been getting out. You're all cooped up in here. You've got to get on with your life. Yeah, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> what I was thinking, <clears throat> hey, this cheese is <laughs> pretty good. Oh, would you quit hitting me? Those are his condolence cheeses. <laughs> condolence cheeses. Mm, great Gouda. Anyway, so I was thinking, hey, you could kick for me, guy. You want me to be your sidekick? Face it, Arthur, anything's better than this. Uh, I don't know. Who dares to disturb the slumber of the almighty omnipotent devourer of worlds? Hey, why don't you watch where you're going, mister? You, come here. You're not afraid of me? The Tick fears no man or beast. Besides, I know what it's like to be big. Hmm, what is your name, Blue Insect? I am the Tick. I come from the city. That's on planet Earth. Earth? Tell me about this Earth. Ah, well... It's as blue as me, but green in places, too. And it's filled with people, and cities, and trees, and horses, fiddler crabs, and... Are you all right? Hmm. You paint a lovely picture of your home, Tick. It sounds so deliciously full of life. Yes, it's pretty happening. Only I don't know how I'll ever get back there. Then I will strike a deal with you, small one. I will bring you back to your lush, lively home world in exchange for your services. What can a guy like me do for a guy like you? Oh, <laughs> more than you know. The look is key. See? Um, deflator Mouse, we've been at this for a week now, and all we do is look at fashion magazines and hang out at the diner. I mean, don't you ever fight crime? <laughs> fight? Crime? Oh, please. <laughs> great! Great! This is as easy as taking candy from a wee baby barn! <laughs> we better hurry! Whoa! Oh, hey there, Loose Cannon. You never go running after total strangers. Hey! He went that way! Higher, higher. Okay, a little to the left. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I think I see your problem. Hang on there. <clears throat> yep, you got some kind of space probe thingy stuck in you. It says... Quick soat! Ah, got it. You got it. Heaven. That feels great. Now, Tick, as long as you're headed that way, could you rub my feet? Oh, that would be the best. Yee. 
Roger. I'm on it. Come on, sidekick. We're on. Fire us, boy. I'm okay. You're okay. Man, for a huge guy, your feet are freaky small. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, tick. I'm so glad we bumped into each other. I'll bet you won't even miss your silly old Earth when it's gone. Huh? <laughs> well, that's the last of them. Oh, oh, thanks, Tink. I have been wanting to do something about that unibrow for eons. Oh, yeah. huh? Yep, you got a planet stuck in your ear. And so the cosmic circus moves along. Its tiniest clown gone to rejoin it once again. Mm. Mm. I love a good appetizer before the main course. Hey. Hey, it's the Earth. It's my Earth! Right on! Omnipotus got me back! I... I bet you won't even miss your silly old Earth when it is gone. You paint a lovely picture of your home, Tick. It sounds so... so... delicious. Who dares disturb the slumber of the almighty Omnipotus, devourer of worlds? Huh? Hi! He's gonna eat it! You're not gonna eat my planet, pal! What's that, Tink? Don't play dumb with me, mister! You know what I'm talking about! Oh, really? I have no idea. You're gonna eat my home! You're evil! Tick, please, calm down. Let's talk about this. I can't believe I rubbed your feet. It is not like I'm going to eat you, Tick. You're my best friend. Yeah, like fun. I'm gonna warn the Earth. Oh, I can't let you do that. <laughs> Tick, don't be cruel. You know I can't reach my feet. Rocket shoe, don't fail me now. No, Tick, please come back. He was my own. Oh, how great my woe. Yet how much greater my hunger. I always eat when I'm depressed. Prepare for a beaten wee buddy man. You and me escape the world and Scottish devils dart and rap. Hey, uh, don't you do that or, or I'll be forced to, to try and stop you. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this solo work. What would the tick do if he was here? Huh? Great pain, Danny boy. Huh. That statue wasn't there before. Arthur! Tick! No time for reunions, chum. Gotta move fast. Save the world! What? Uh huh? I've been the janitor to the apocalypse for two long months, Arthur, and it's a coming this way! Tick, what is that? Uh, well, that's the guy I've been living with. 
What did you bring him here for? And well, what's he doing? He's well, he's eating the world. That's kind of what he does. Can't you make him stop? Stop? Oh, you got it. Tick, what exactly are we looking for anyway? Anything that justifies our existence, Arthur. He eats worlds. I've got to try to appeal to his human side. Impress him. We're sort of friends. He's all the way up to the Dewey Bridge. Oh, man, that was the best bridge. Omnipotence, wait! Just hold on a sec. What do you want, traitor, deserter? We've come to implore you to save our world because of its many splendorous creations. Dick, I don't think he's in the mood. Uh, behold, bowling trophy. Uh, little colored plastic pirate swords to hold our sandwiches together. Uh, one deluxe assortment of cheeses, half eaten in a handcrafted wicker basket. Arthur, where did we get this? Oh, and this! Paint by numbers covered bridge scene! I don't feel like talking to you right now. I thought you were my friend. Oh, come on, man. I had to leave. You were about to eat my planet. What kind of friend is that? I told you I wasn't going to eat you. No, but you were going to eat everything else. My apartment and the supermarket where I do all my shopping. And, and, and Arthur. You were going to eat Arthur. We're friends, right? Well, I'd like to be. Then quit eating all my stuff. Then? Will you be my friend? Yeah, sure, I guess. Before I met you, I was a very lonely guy. Perhaps, perhaps not eating people is the first step to making friends. Oh, I'm so happy all of a sudden. Thank you, uh, Tick. <laughs> I don't even really like him. <laughs> Salty. I will respect your wishes and your world, Tick, and go back to my stars. But there's just one thing. My hunger. I really need to eat something. Do you think I could maybe just take a quick bite out of that nice moon you have up there? Just to tide me over? Oh, a little appetizer, huh? Well, what do you think, Arthur? It's not like anyone lives up there. <laughs> I've seen it. It's not all that pretty. Great! Thanks! No! Wait! You know, Arthur, when you spend two months riding around on a really big man, you start to learn a few things about yourself. You learn that it's a really great thing to stay on Earth and live in a place that has no arms or legs of its own. And most importantly, Arthur, you learn how to close your eyes and tell yourself, this just isn't happening to me. So, did you miss me?